Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to add a feedback button on your Blogger page. This is really useful when you want to receive feedback from the users who are visiting your site because they might want to report a bug, they might want some extra news or changes made on the Blogger page. So it's pretty useful if you have this embedded on your site. So let me show you how this is accomplished right now. Okay, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started by creating a brand new form so we can create that feedback system. So let's go into create a form. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to select classic form. And now we're going to add the elements that we might need for our feedback system. Now you can make this simple or you can make it complex. What I mean by that, if you add more elements, you can make it more complex, but maybe users won't want to give feedback. So it's optional how many elements you want to add here. For example, if we add form elements, we might only want to use, for example, email and we're going to use long text and we're going to say this is feedback. Now, this would be a simple use case. For example, we're only asking for the email and the feedback information. Let's add this. Let's change this. OK, so we're making it simple, but we can make it more complex by adding more fields. For example, we can ask their name in case we need that information, or we can also add the image upload for file upload. So we can allow only images to be uploaded. Why? I mean, we might need a screenshot of something. For example, if they want to get feedback on a bug that they found on the site, well, we need that screenshot. So we can say this is a screenshot. Let's edit the properties and let's go into options. And we're going to remove all the files except the image type file. So let's get rid of these. So in this case, we're only allowing JPG, JPEG, PNG, and GIF files. That means we're only accepting images and that's why we're selecting screenshot. This could be a use case. And if you don't want to, or if you don't need the email, you can remove that also just receive feedback and the screenshot. In this case, we'll leave it as it is. Let's go into publish. Let's go into embed. And down here we have an option that says feedback button. Let's select this. And this is the code that we're going to need on our blogger site. So let's copy this code. Let's go into our blogger site. This is where we're going to get started, but let me show you really quickly, quickly what the page actually looks like right now. So let's go to blogger. Let's refresh it. And we have the simple page. There's no feedback button. There's nothing. Our feedback button is going to appear here on the left and centered. So let's go to our blogger and we're going to add this feedback button. So let's go into layout. We're going to add a gadget. Let's click on this and we're going to add HTML JavaScript. So let's click on this one right here. We're going to title this feedback so we know what it's for. And the content is where we're going to add the embed code that we grabbed on JotForm. So let's go ahead and paste it. Let's save it. Now that we added the code, let's go check out our blogger site. So let's go to the blogger site right here. Let's refresh it. Let's click on refresh. And you can see on the left, we have a feedback button. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now the user can give us feedback so they can add their email the feedback information and the screenshot that we might need and they will submit it. So that's pretty cool, right? Now, if we want to edit that feedback form, we can go back to JotForm and go into Builder and we can edit our form and it'll be automatically updated on Blogger. We don't have to add any more code or change anything on Blogger. But what happens if we want to fine tune where that position of the feedback button is? Well. Let's go into the HTML code. Let's go into publish, embed, feedback button. And this information here is where we're going to edit the code. For example, we can see it's aligned to the left. We can edit to be aligned to the right or have a different position. We can also change the width and the height. Now let's go ahead and change it to the right. Let's go into our blogger. Let's edit our code right here. Let's edit. And we're going to see where it says left. So that's a button side. Let's, we're going to say it's right. Now let's go ahead and save it. And let's go refresh our blogger side to test. Let's refresh it. And now the feedback button is on the right, just in case you don't want it on the left and you need it on the right. Or in case you have another widget that's on the left, you don't want it to be overlapped. So that way we can move it. Now, what happens if we want to even customize it even further? Like, let's just say right now for by default, it's orange, but my branding has nothing to do with orange. Maybe it's blue. So how can we edit that? Let's go back to that embed code here in blogger. 
let's go ahead and edit and you can see the background color is this one right here let's go find the hex color for this the html color let's go to blue we'll say a little bit more light there and here's our color let's grab this code let's go to our blogger and we're gonna change it okay let's go ahead and save it and let's go refresh our blogger site let's refresh and now it's blue also we can change the font color right now it's white let's go back to our blogger let's edit and you can see the font color is right here fff what if we wanted black or another color that might contrast like i don't know light gray let's go into our html color let's go into light gray right about there let's grab this html code go back to our blogger and let's replace this font color right there let's save it let's go refresh our blogger refresh it and now it's a bit gray there so we could have that let's go a little bit further there it's a bit gray now instead of being white so we can customize a lot of things by working with the code that we have already available so everything is right here we can change colors alignments and everything here on the embed code really easily well that is how you embed a feedback widget on your blogger site we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.